So what exactly is the .NET framework? We spoke a little bit about references, and we saw the system dot application classes, and we also saw something called the runtime. What does this all mean? The .NET framework consists of two components, the common language runtime and a set of base class libraries. These work together to connect information, people, and systems through software. Keep in mind that .NET 3.0 and 3.5 are incremental releases. Both 3.0 and 3.5 still use the .NET 2.0 version of the CLR. We can examine this by taking a look at this chart. As you can see, starting from the bottom, the .NET Framework 2.0 plus its relevant service pack consists of the .NET CLR and base classes. The CLR manages references to objects, data types, and exceptions in memory. Because of this, code written in .NET is called managed code. The CLR manages the memory on the machine, releasing references when they're no longer used via the garbage collector. This is a useful feature because it eliminates memory leaks by cleaning up any resources when you're finished with using them. You can use a variety of programming languages to write code against the .NET framework, as long as they target the .NET CLR. These .NET languages can also talk to one another and pass data back and forth. This is because the data types are standardized in the CLR, which all .NET languages rely on. On top of the framework classes in 2.0 and the CLR, in 3.0, we introduce four new major namespaces. One, Windows Presentation Foundation, or WPF for short. This provides you the ability to build rich, interactive client applications on the desktop. Windows Communication Foundation provides a common programming model for building services and connecting applications using a variety of protocols, such as TCP IP or HTTP. It also allows you to pass the data in either a binary or serial format. Windows Workflow Foundation allows you to define declarative, long-running workflows. And lastly, Windows Card Space provides a safer and more secure alternative than using the traditional username and password authentication models within websites and rich client applications. All these were introduced in the Framework 3.0. You can still leverage these in the Framework 3.5. In addition to these, we introduced several new enhancements, including links, which allows you to connect to data, ASP.NET 3.5, an upgraded model of our web application model, and the CLR add-in framework. And then on top of all this, the service pack for 3.5 adds additional enhancements to the WPF model. We'll review these in more detail in this series.